Hi there gang, welcome back to Big Board. We are uh, starting turn 040. Oh, 040, that's very interesting. 0840 or 840 AM, depending on where you come from. And uh, we've rolled for initiative for artillery and air. And if you bear with me while I move the camera a little closer. see right here that I am basically executing what I would call danger close artillery fire. Uh, doing this for a couple of reasons. A because I like to live on the edge and B because it seemed like the right idea at the time. Anyway, I believe we've got a reasonable line of sight there. Last I, I checked the Battery counters are obviously from another game, but I haven't printed off the 1996 battery counters for, for this game, which uh, apparently uh, came out a few years after this was published. So bear with me. In fact, I'm going to put this little guy down here, and we can sit here and watch up nice and close. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now, when we do artillery in this game, uh, I'll try and spare you the educational session and just kind of get on with the game, but just so you know what we're doing, first thing we need to do is look at the artillery adjustment table, and we look up the US. The US has a, a rating of 11, and then we roll the dice, and there are four categories, no shoot, scatter, bad shoot, and good shoot, and that's really bad. So the first one on the left, as an 11, is a 22, oh, well, there you go, 22, so that's a bad shoot. So we're going to take this guy and flip it from good shoot to bad shoot, which I think you'll see will eliminate half the uh, firepower. It's six here and 12 here and they happen to correspond very closely to the fire powers of the battery counters for this game in any case from the 1996 counters the other guys get a 50 that's going to be a good shoot Good shoot. So once you have a good shoot, you can then roll for effect. And once again with this game, there are always interesting and unique things. So I'm firing with a firepower of six on the first one, and I have to use uh, one uh, ammo point uh, for each high explosive. Uh, attack I, I, I conduct, I can do continuous fire, I can also do something called fast fire which doubles the uh, effective firepower of the attack. We're doing singles on all these just to see uh, <coughs> how this will all work out. Nevertheless I have an area, an area fire attack on these infantry units and uh, each unit uh, infantry unit has five steps. So earlier on uh, in our session last night we saw this chap here take a one step loss. So he's now down to four steps. I mention that just because um, if we were doing a, a normal attack without artillery that would uh, actually be a benefit to the guys because they would be a smaller unit. Uh, I believe that's how that works. Uh, also at um, not artillery, but uh, tanks, for instance, typically have a, a two-step size versus a five-step size. Anyway, enough prattling. Let's roll some dice to see what sort of damage we do. We are on the six table, the six column, I should say, and our target is suppressed, so we actually lose two columns for that, or do we? Yes, we do. 
So that is not all that great. So that's going to pop us down to the four. Unless I, <laughs> unless I roll a 65. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. That is a one step loss. So I'll try and come from this side so I don't block the camera too badly. These chaps just lost another step. So we'll swap that to a two. Put him back. Now normally when we're playing this game, and in fact what I will start to do a little bit more seriously is uh, rather than trying to show you the mechanics of the game, I guess, is actually play to win. Uh, I would have uh, perhaps laid some artillery down on this position here and suppress them, which means they would then not be able to spot for uh, the artillery fires. And these guys could have moved up in uh, relative safety. Uh, one, two, three, four, yep, they would have been fine. It would have not suffered an artillery attack because in snow there's a range of three, as we discovered. Uh, if you saw the last video, we found out what all the ranges were for mist, fog, heavy fog, rain, and snow. And it's a range, visibility range of three. So we made a hit there. If it means we now need to do a morale check. A morale check is awesome. It's a 22, so it's all good. We need to do the next attack. It's on the 12 table. And that's the lowest you can roll is 11, and that's indeed what we rolled. Which is no effect. So there you go. That's life in the big city. <coughs> I'm going to just put these counters back over here. Right. So. We rolled for initiative last, uh, last session. As I recall, the Americans had initiative for the action phase. The... Germans are not real excited because we're still in the artillery phase. Each each turn takes it in turns. Each turn, each side takes it in turns. Americans had theirs. Now the Germans are going to have theirs. They're not real excited about the fact they're getting beat on. So I think we're going to respond in kind with artillery fires there. I'm going to use this mines counter because I don't have any German uh, counters for artillery for the battery fires and I'm just going to check off over here real quickly the artillery we're going to fire <coughs> and I'm also going to need to look up actually what we'll do is we'll just use 105s so I'm going to use a fast fire because I'm a brave guy so that's two ammo You can also fire smoke and illumination rounds and all that sort of good stuff in this game as well. The Germans on the artillery table are a 10, so that's pretty good for the adjustments. So they make a bad shoot. Bad shoot is going to be a 6. We are actually in... Going to be on the four table because they're in protective or partially protective terrain, I believe. And what is that? 24. That's a nothing. So it has no effect. So although it was a bad shoot, and fast. Oh wait, it's doubled. Doggone it. Love this game. What did I say it was? Six. So it's 12 minus two. It's still going to be, yeah, it's not going to make it. No, 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 no change. So that's artillery for both sides. That's the only artillery we are going to run this turn for both sides. Yeah, because nothing else is in range. So, movement. I said the Yanks had movement uh, privileges first. <coughs> So let's see here. I 
Man, it's just a matter of time for those guys to get beat on, huh? See, that's what happened. I remember last turn I was complaining about why there were two two platoons here and I had to stack these incorrectly when I was shuffling things around. So that is the correct firepower there with that half track. I am going to, uh, since I'm going to move. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to be very patient and wait. And let the Germans have their move. Well, the range of, oh, with a, a visibility range of three now. One, two, three. I'm going to flip the move, move one and flip back. So that's what's going on there, if you're wondering. Put these guys to here and stay in move mode. These guys are going to stay here and spot if they can. In fact, here we go. Three, four, five. Let's see if we can't do a little bit of spotting there. We're going to need to soften these guys up before we attempt to shoot at them, attack them. So and I'm gonna move all these guys, these two in a move these two in a move mode. And this one in leave this one in fire mode over here. Which you probably can't see. And over here I've moved these guys into fire mode. And we're uh, just going to try and position ourselves to put some hurt, some suppressive fire on these guys and take it from there. The visibility aspects here are a little bit tricky. You think it looks straightforward, but it ends up that it's really not. And the timing of being able to move in a position without getting shot at too badly is always uh, entertaining. All right. That's all the movement we're going to do for both turns. Uh, part of the excitement or interest in this game for me is also the ability to have these op sheets or operational sheets, which I've posted on BGG. You can see them and, and see what the, the general attack or defensive plans are for both sides. And... Uh, I've actually, uh, what you need to do at the beginning of each turn is, uh, if you're planning new op sheets, is to accrue uh, the appropriate, what they call weighted turns, to see when and if your operational sheet will come into effect. So I've been keeping track of that for the, the, the last two turns and will continue to do so for any new plans. And uh, we also need to keep track of once uh, reinforcements come in. We need to keep track of how long it takes units to cross the various, cross the river, and uh, each unit type or formation has a certain number of turns it takes for them to move in. We've got our reinforcement table here. Uh, although we're using the historical situation, so we're going to uh, just be following this plan here. So that, that kind of wraps up the 04 turn, so the 0840 turn, 0820 turn. Look at me. I think I stayed up too late last night uh, editing video. All right. I'm going to pause everything here, and then we'll come back and start the next, the start the 0840 turn, and do artillery and all that sort of fun stuff again. All right, so I'll check in with you in a minute.